What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Utah State to finish the conference schedule. And it was a sloppy game by both teams. A ton of turnovers. Both quarterbacks didn't play well at all. We we're thankful to get the win. We won by 17. We are on an eight-game winning streak. We finished the conference undefeated. We're 8-2. and two, And we got two non-conference games left. Today we're taking on Toledo. I imagine one of the better teams in the MAC this season. They got more talent than we do. They run a spread offense and a 3-4 defense. As you can tell, they pass the ball quite a bit, and their defense looks halfway decent. So this could be an interesting game. I picked this game because this is going to be our last hoorah at trying to get a commitment or two from some of our uh, prospects that we've been going after. So we can check that right now. And we'll go to end season recruiting. And we're down to three guys. It's been the same three for the last month, it seems. Trey McDowell, he's already visited. He's a soft verbal. But unfortunately, we're not showing him enough love. That 34 points just isn't enough to get him to commit just yet. We win today. We may get that today. Now, the... Kevin Grievous, the defensive end, has finally decided to take a visit. He's visiting today. Problem is, we don't have a clue what he likes, but we do have his schedule for location. I, we're just taking a guess here, to be honest. And the soft verbal uh, from halfback Mark Bracey is our third guy. We're in great shape for him. For whatever reason, he's just not ready to commit. Again, hopefully by the end of the video, we will have commitments by all three of these guys. That would be great. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings, uh, top 25, I don't mind looking at this. I don't know how close we are to the top 25. I figure we'd be in the mid-30s by now. We'll check that here in a minute. But we're not there yet. Heisman Watch, I mean, we can check this. It's been the same four or five guys all season, more or less. Iowa and Florida, of course, the last game of the season for us. The next game is going to be at Florida. Should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, let's go to award semifinalists. We're only up for like maybe two awards, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wide receiver award. Ferguson, he's getting up there. I don't know if he can get in the top three by the time the finalists are named, but it's good to see him on there. He's had a great season. The only other award we're up for is the coach award, and we are still at the top of the list for that one, which is pretty cool to see. Let's go to conference standings, and we'll check out some team info screens. Now, again, we have... Nailed down the conference championship once again, two in a row. Now, we are currently a three-star program. We should go up to a four-star next season. I'm really hoping we get invited to the Pac-10. If that doesn't happen, we're going to wait another season, become a five-star, and if we don't get invited then, then I may go a different direction. We'll see. But we are WAC champions once again. We can check out our screen. Of course, our backup outside linebackers out. It's the same thing over and over again. Just we got the big three doing their thing on offense. Defensively, we're starting to see a little more uh, separation, a little more uh, uh, variance in terms of the names with leaders and tackle sacks and interceptions. And we could check out Toledo, which is in the MAC. They are currently fourth in their division or in their conference. Technically, they got divisions. Looks like they are third in their division right now. Either way, we'll check out their team screen. This is good. They got two halfbacks out. Parmeli or Parmel is their leading ha rusher, which is good. He's probably an impact guy, so we got lucky there. But look at their quarterback. He's having a killer season. Now, remember, they like to throw the ball more than run it, so this is what they're going to still do. 24 touchdowns with three interceptions. That's quite impressive. Got a wide receiver putting up really good numbers. He's close to getting 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. That's He's having a great season. On the defensive side, looks like they got one guy doing everything for him. Tackles and interceptions by Chamberlain. Uh, Fitoff is leading in sacks. And they just got beat by Ohio. But they're 4-2 in their conference. Okay. There's not much else to see. I think we're ready to go ahead and take on the Rockets. I haven't played them. I can't tell you how long. It's been, I don't remember the last Mac Dynasty I ran. I guess it was when I was with Yale. Either way, 
We'll get this show on the road. Let's see. We are 39th, so we probably won't get to the top 25 unless we come up with some miracle win against Florida. But we've had a great season regardless. You win your conference, you're doing well, you're on, you're on the right track. We got a night game on Honolulu. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. Yeah, we're going to have some good weather, unless the wind is crazy. Nope, perfect weather all around. He kind of ought to have Toledo come all the way over to Hawaii, but I'm sure they don't mind it. Gronk's having a good season. Uh, he's getting better. It's off and on at times, but he's doing his job last few games at least. He drives me nuts at times, though. I'll, do, I'll say that. Okay, let's go to the coin toss. And they won it. They will kick it. So we're going to get the ball first. We'll go here. And uh, let's check out their roster. Okay, starting quarterback, he can't run. We're going to blitz him pretty hard. Um, their top two halfbacks are out, so it's a, just a drop-off big time in this area. What's interesting is they got some big running backs. Everybody's over 221, 212, 204. A really good fullback. He's not an impact guy like we went up against last week from the last game. Here's where their bread is buttered at wide receiver. Two impact guys, a 90 overall. This kid's the real deal. We'll see if we can shut that down a little bit today. And his little teammate, 6'1", 225 pounds. That's a pretty wide receiver. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, 80 behind him. I mean, wow, look at this. 90, then you got to drop off from 80, 80, 80, 80, 78. Just a good receiving core. A tight end. I don't know if he'll do a lot today. He's not fast enough to do a whole lot. Can he catch? A little bit. I'm guessing they're going to spread it out quite a bit. I'll go four wide, that type of thing. A really good left tackle at 94, 85, 85, 72, and 84. So one of the better offensive lines we will face today. Now, they run a 3-4. As you can tell by the defensive end here, 6'5", 287 pounds. That's the type of guy I'm looking for. The other guy is 6'2", 220, not so much. But this is the guy who's actually putting up some numbers. Pretty good at defensive tackle. Uh, impact outside linebacker. This is the kid that's doing everything for him. Interceptions, tackles, and such. Middle linebacker. They are depleted at middle linebacker, yet they run a 3-4. That's interesting. Uh, right outside linebacker, not bad. Corner, 82 and 84, 78. So not a bad-looking cornerback group for that conference. Free safety. They got a couple guys off kilter, so I'm surprised this guy's starting over him. Maybe it's due to Awareness, I guess. I'm not really sure. Uh, just the same as strong safety. Nothing special there. Average kicker. Not a bad punter. And that is it. All right. I think they're going to throw the ball over the field. We're going to get the ball first. I like to start off with a nice, clean touchdown. That'd be great. Right down the middle of the field. We're going to let that one go. It's going to be tough to get anything out of that one. Since they're running 3-4, I wonder. Like, we can try a dive. I'm just curious. They may go dime. Now they're going to go nickel. That's the only downside to going four wide a lot. You don't see their base offense or defense a ton. Even though I wouldn't mind seeing it. I'll have to go out here. Get off me, son! Ah! Great play there by Kala. We're going to go... Quick slants. Man, and they're blitzing that right nickel. Ooh, let's see. We got some matchup situations. We can do that just in case. Oh, I'm going to have to get underneath it. Oh, six points. I had to do it myself. I had no choice. That was going to be intercepted. Ferguson couldn't get around the corner. You know, Ferguson, look how small he is compared to that corner. I had to take him over, though. All right, that's a good way to start.
They brought both safeties. Just go over the top. Pretty simple. Kind of wish that impact status would go somewhere else. This another player, but that's okay. Okay, they got an impact guy on the right. Let's kick it to the other guy if we can. Should go right to him. Good stop there. It's a good gain though on the 35. They're doing that. Uh, let's do quarters at a 3-4. I love their uniforms. Just real distinct. Finally, somebody got to him. Of course, we only sent three guys. Everybody was covered, apparently. We'll do quarters out of nickel this time since we're going five wide. Make sure I got my bump and run going there. Ah, good play. Almost got the first down. So it's, what, third and two? Third and one. Let's go dog gold. If I was them, I'd maybe run it. That's too bad. Ah. Oh, come on. Look at this. you got to be kidding. Not even an impact guy, and he just made it look easy. Broken tackle. Just all kinds of bad. Right? Broken tackle. So much for that big momentum swing we had. We'll go back on offense to try to get the lead back. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Apparently their offense is no joke. We'll I don't expect that running back to keep doing that today, but still got to make tackles out there. We can re attempt to return this one. Not a bad game there. We'll do curl read. They're going man. They're blitzing both inside guys. They're doing that. Uh, we'll do this. We'll have Rackley go over the top. He's bigger. I have a better... Yeah, great play. Six points out of the gate. <laughs> Going deep. They're bringing both safeties. I have no choice. Just a great play right here. Give it to your 6'5 freshman. So I don't know how many passing yards we have so far, but it's up there. Well over 100. So let's get back on defense and see if we can at least stop them. I'm not too worried about the defense, but we'll see what happens on this next drive. Should go right to that guy again. Good stop there. I still expect them to pass more than run it. We'll do a five down front. Just in case, but I think they're going to throw. Ah! Dang it. And we got a player hurt. I should have picked that off. I was right there. Adams. Uh, I think that's one of my... Let me go back and look. I should know. Uh, injury report. And that was quick. He's already out for two weeks. My freshman corner. So, that's no fun. He's not going to be available for the Florida game unless I got a bye week there that I'm not aware of. Let's go check out our corners. It's a big drop-off. It, it's not terrible, so we can still go nickel, but ah, steal. 
He's played so great for us this year. As tall as he's been. Making great plays for us. That's a loss right there. Thankfully, we got a little bit of depth. Play action. Nope, they're going to run the ball. Big nine-yard gain by the running back. Now, they say they run a pretty balanced offense. But I think they're going to throw more than run. So, I'm going to continue to go quarters. First down, they went mesh. Uh, now nah, we ah, got it. We got to stay in nickel. We got to get that speed out there. So that was real quick. Strained Achilles tendon. Could be worse, I guess. Play action here. Out of bounds. That's second and ten. Uh, it says they got a hanging tight end, so we're going to attempt a zone blitz. Nope, they're going to do that instead. Okay. Wow. Went right towards me. It didn't make a difference. Another big game. So their run game is killing it right now. For whatever reason. We have been able to stop one decent run play. Back to five wide. Ah, he still caught it. Wow. He got a good quarterback. I'll eventually pick one off. Going gun ace. It said they was going four wide. Out of bounds, thankfully. Uh, it says going three wide. I'll try another zone blitz. If they go back to that full house, that may be kind of tough. I'm controlling him myself. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. That's bull. That's a bunch of crap. What's going on? It's just the end of the season nonsense where they just make every play known to man. Look at this. Like they're just breaking every tackle. Now I'm starting to get a little worried. We're gonna have to keep scoring, I guess, in order to keep up. I don't. Just all of a sudden, our defense can't stop a cold. I'm going to have to try to get an interception or something. That was way too easy for him. Every play, just nine, ten-yard chunks. And I lost a corner. Middle of the field, I'm going to let that one go. We are going to go deep cross up. They're going man 3-4. Uh, I wonder what happens if I do that. Big play. It may be six points. He may be gone. Can he? Yeah, don't get caught. <laughs> Jeez. Her passing game is going well at least. I swear. One play here, touchdown. Another play, touchdown. Third play, touchdown. So if you check out some stats, we can... Let's check out some stats here really quick. I'm, so, this is just a goofy game. So, Gronk is 3-for-3 three three with three touchdowns, 220 yards. That's the perfect... Look at his quick QB rating. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. I've never seen one that high, but this is technically the perfect game for a quarterback so far. You can't do any better. 1,046 QB rating. I'll never match that again. The problem is we can't stop them. <laughs> Don't know why. Hopefully we can figure it out. I may have to do more four down linemen stuff. Of course, I'm kind of doing that already with I'm playing a ton of nickel because they're spreading us out, but... Send more blitzers. I don't know. We got to figure out something. And this one's a short kick. Takes from the 10. Get a stop there. We got to go back to nickel. Right over the top for six. 
All right, somebody make a play out here. The Rockets line up with three receivers bunched. Got a couple guys who can't hear that play. Play action. Goes with the play fake. Rolling out to the left side. Throws this Big play! Big play! It's about time. I knew I was going to get one eventually. Man, we needed that in the worst way. Just get right out in front of this. This is the best angle. I like how he turned around. He got his feet set and still didn't make a difference. I'm going to go back and look. Just a point of reference. I'm just covering my area of the field. I'm just trying to cover whoever is close to me. And it's that guy right there. So I just step right in front of it and pick it off. So we're on the right hash. Let's go triangle. We're going zone. So I doubt I'll get a touchdown on this play. Ooh, I threw that way too light, but we still got the yardage. Should throw a little bit harder. Second and three. Uh, we can go. Go P. Reed. We're going zone. I always wish they'd go man. Ooh, going with like a 3 3 5 look. No, 4 2 5. I don't know what that is. Ugh. Great play there. So it is run the 13. Let's go halfback out. We're going man. We'll go over here. Good play there. That is, uh, we can get kind of funky over here. Let's do a screen. We'll flip it. I got to throw this to Ferguson. He's my s screen guy. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the Six points. All right, good deal. So the passing game is clicking on all cylinders, to say the least. That drive took me four plays to get a touchdown. <laughs> all right, we'll kick an extra point. Go up two scores. Ooh, okay, right in the middle. That's all it took is one interception to really switch things up, you know, flip the script. So we are on pace to score 100 points. I don't think we'll do that. But who knows how many points we'll have by halftime. Of course, this is going out of bounds big time. I really messed that one up. At least he can't return it. That's okay. That's my bad. They are going with that. I'm going to do quarters at a 3-4. Uh, I'm going to leave it as is. I hope they throw it. They got a tight end that wears number 91. Ah. I was... Not in the right place. I, th I thought I was, but I wasn't. We'll do quarters at a nickel this time. Get a little more speed out there. Wide open there. That's a big receiver. Gets a first down. And that is the end of the quarter. 28 to 14. A lot of high flying action. I'm just going to stay in deep zone all day. I think he'll throw another interception or two. Ah, good play. Wasn't expecting that. Maybe holding? We will take that. That is first and 20. We're going to go back to four wide. It said they was going four wide. That's why I went to nickel. No play action on this one. Oh, he's wide open over there. Terrible throw. We'll take it. So it's second and 20. I'll just stick in the same play. 
shotgun set. Back to five wide they go. Good open field tackle. Now it's third and forever. We'll go cloud. I'll control a defensive end this time. They got two good tackles. Let's see if I can get around one of them. Just a good stop all around. So we're going to get the ball back. Defense is starting to pick things up a bit. On the 47. Let's do an all-out block. They got a decent punter, so he may really boot this thing. A little fair catch, that one. We are on the right hash, let's or left hash. Let's go. Clear out. Zone dime, we will go... I'm going to go with a run play here. We're going to do that. Uh, let's do this instead. Interesting little play here. Both of my guards got pushed back. It kind of forced me to go up this A-gap. Not using the speed bump, just kind of bouncing off, guys. Finding a crease. I think we've got some decent yardage out of it. Good little play there. Second and two. Let's do curls. We haven't got the call that today. Man nickel, that right... Right, man dime, that right nickel is blitzing. He's doing that. Uh, let's do that just in case. Uh, oh my gosh. It's just, it's meant to be to have deep balls today. It just, we'll take it. I I, I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments saying it. Go Roach, jeez. It's, it's working today. Some days it doesn't, you know. That's a good thumbnail right there. Oh, where's that at? That is on the 27-minute mark. Okay. That's what they're giving us. They keep bringing cover zero, so I'm going over the top. Now we're starting to really stretch things. I really hope I have a bye week between this and... The Florida game. I don't think I do, though. If I do, that'd be great. Adams will be back. It may not make a difference. I mean, Florida is, they're competing for a national championship this year. And I kicked that one out of bounds again. Dang it. I hit the button too late. My bad, my bad. Wow, that kick kept going forever and ever. Hit the button too late. Uh, we're going with a bigger set. I'm just going to go with a 4-3. One high? Let's do that. Intercept that. Good stop there. We'll go quarters and a nickel. Since they are supposedly going four wide. Lines up in a shotgun set. <laughs> Good tackle, though. So it's, what, third and five? We'll just go cloud. Let's see how he handles a cover three. Eh, I'll still do patrol this guy. I think that tight end's going to go out for a pass. Ah, good pickup. Good play. Just couldn't get to him in time. Going back to another big set. Go one high here. Just a goofy play there. We'll take it. Back to quarters at a nickel. Looks like they're going ace bunch. Toledo comes out with three receivers bunched. They like that fake toss. Threw it all at his hip or something there. Um, 
Yeah, we'll go back to Cloud. I, f I feel like we can get to this guy. But he's talented enough to find somebody open if we've got the time to do it. They went extra protection here. Another interception. Oh, the same guy. Kalilalamoku. He just got in front of it. We'll take it. All right. Back on the right hash we go. Uh, let's go back to Curl Reed. Zone nickel. We'll go to Ferguson on this one. I get a few yards there, a bit high. I think we've had one incompletion yet, though. Second and six. We can... We'll go cross. Ah, they're going man good. So who is on who? They may be going cover zero here, but I'm going to bring this guy over. Good throw to the freshman. We are on the left hash. Let's call streak. We haven't ran this yet. We got an impact defense being sitting there. That may be the linebacker. Yeah, it's a linebacker. I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. I take that back. That's going to get intercepted. <laughs> it's just whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's just meant to be to really put up some chunk yards today. Oh my gosh. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> so we're at 42 points. We're fixing to be. That should have been intercepted. That was just a jump ball, one on three situation. Get an extra point. And we'll get back on defense. Woo! I tell you. Deep ball's working the day. Let's see if I can kick this a little bit better. Much better. Got to get a stop here. It's our best stop of the day. Uh, let's do a crash two out of three, four. I'm going to go after this cat. Or they can just run right towards the two blitzers. They're calling a timeout, minute 59. Second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty. Bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Good open field tackle there. I'm gonna call a timeout. Uh we get a stop here. I may save those other two timeouts. Let's control this guy, see if it helps. We haven't had a whole lot of luck on the other side. Oh, they went extra blitzers, or extra protection. So that clock's going to roll. I'm okay with that. We're going to get the ball with a minute 20 to go with two timeouts on, our, on their side of the field. That's more than enough time to do something. I want that extra timeout in my pocket. Just in case. They're going to milk it. I don't blame them. It's a way it's That's a punt point. and a half right there. Somebody get a block on the left. Get a block right there. Great run by Washington. We are on the left hash. We can go back to curls. I'm trying to think. Uh, man, nickel. I'm good with that. I'm going to do that just in case. Go to Washington. Just get out of bounds. Second and inches. Uh, we are. We go back to halfback out. We're going man. A weird looking defense there. I don't know what that's going on there. 
He drops back. Look. Across the middle. Finds the true pressure. Minute four. At least we got the first down. Uh, go quick slants. We're going zone. He can hurry up to the line. And a fumble. I think it's just a good hit. Well, we was close to getting 50 points in one half. He just got his bell rung. This ain't going to be the... Nah. Nothing you can do about that. Look at this. Boom! That gives them 52 seconds. Now, their offense is capable to get down the field, but can they? We may get the ball back if we get a good stop. I'm kind of liking this five-down look here. Got both edges covered just in case. Wide open over the middle. Our front four can't get to him by themselves. Just need better bodies on the line. They're okay. They're taking their sweet time. That's good. I guess they've decided they're not going to try to score here. So they'll probably run it. So I need to be... Oh, they're going to throw it. Intercept that. Ah, oh, my goodness, I swear. <laughs> uh, let's go quarters. I mean, they, they still threw the ball. I would imagine they would run it here. But we'll keep it basic and just stick with quarters. Yeah, just off tackle. And they're calling a timeout. I don't know what they're doing. Now, if they, we get a stop here, I may call another timeout, and that gives us a few seconds to do something. All day to throw. Great play. So the deep ball isn't working for them. It's working for us. He overthrew it. That's the middle of the field. Nine seconds to go. I don't know. We can try. I'm not really in the middle of the field either. This is going to be kind of tough. We'll see what happens. Just blasted that one. We'll just take a knee and go to half. I'm okay with that. If we would have got that one converted, then I would have done something like a Hail Mary on that one. But let's just take a knee and go to half. I'm pretty satisfied with the results of the first half. All right, 42 to 14. We can check out some stats. It's going to be interesting. We have 435 yards of total offense. 14 to 15 in the passing game. It's just clicking. It's the best we've done all season. 413 yards of passing. We haven't seen one third down all day. Not one. That's when you know the offense is going well. We don't only see one third down. We had the one turnover. Just bad break on that one. But everything is going quite smoothly. I don't need to look at the individual stats because, I mean, we can. The pan, Of course, Gronk is having, again, another practically perfect game. Hopefully he can stick with that. It's Here's what I wanted to see. Ferguson, Bass, Davis, Rankley, Washington. We got three. We got six guys got to touch the ball through the air. Ferguson's got two. Bass has got two. Davis has got one. Rankley's got one. So my four main guys with Washington... Washington needs to get the ball somehow, some way. It just hasn't worked out yet. But that's okay. Can't complain too much. They're going to get the ball here, start of the third. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Hopefully that'll go to the other guy at wheel. Hawkins takes it from the six. Good stop there. And now we'll see the offense coming out, out of the field for their next Back to a spread set, it appears. Let's see if we can force them and to another interception. Fake Thomas. Somehow he caught that. And that jumbled mess. Oh, man, we got a player hurt. Injured his head. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, though. He's an outside linebacker. We're kind of running out of those. Let's do a zone blitz. They supposedly have a 
hang and tight end, but they're going to go with that. Uh, and this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. I'll fake Looking the blitz. Across the middle, and he dropped it. He dropped it. it ended up being a really good throw. I'm going to call the same play. Now they may go back to that full house formation. And they're going to. And the impact we'll go right here. Right now. Break one. Defensive end got the tackle there. So it is third and six. We'll go back to Cloud. It's worked for us for the most part. Could be a little bit better. Get him! Oh my gosh, he still got out of it! <laughs> what a goofy play that was. Go back and look at this. So here I am, I'm trying to get him. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a sack. He somehow, he moves just enough to get out of the way. And I bump into him, and he stumbles. And I just over-pursue there. Looks like I'm playing 09. And thank the Lord he doesn't have a whole lot of athleticism. What a goofy play that was. Okay, we're going to go all out block. Hopefully they don't fake it. Get the ball back. The Rockets line up the punt. Going in for protection. I guess he's going to let that one go. We are in the middle of the field. Let's go and I want to see if they go 3-4. I'd like for them to do so. Oh, they're going to go nickel, which is understandable since we're going four wide. We're going to run basic dive. I'm going to try to cut this up the gut here. Big play. Ah, I love it. Up the gut. Halfback dive. Uh, I'm going to do it with the wide receiver triple option play. We're going zone nickel. We are going to... We're going to call the audible on this one. Not the best throw. We're lucky to get the yards we did. Uh, second and seven. We got some room to play with. Let's go with streak. We're going man dime. I can Number nine, go with up. this. We'll go to somebody on the right. Back to pass. Looks, throws it to the Good play there. Rackley's having a great game. Just a great game. Good for him. It's good pickup for us. So we're back on the right hash. Uh, I want to go back to P. Reed. I wish they'd go man here. But they're not going to. They really do. I would run it, but Washington is not a running back. We'll just keep this as is. Give that back to Ferguson. Uh, second and five. I'll go back to Triangle. Zone dime. I may... What I need to do... I need to go back and change this. I don't want to do mass subs. I'll go to Audible. I want, to, I want this to be a dive instead. That's what I need it to be. This will be a slam, though. Ooh, let's see what happens here. Good defense. Uh, what we'll do is... Let's do a toss play. We haven't got to go to the outside much in the run game. They're going man nickel. I hope that linebacker is on Rankly. It looks like he is, so we will go left. Just get the first down. Good play there. Let's go. We haven't called it today. I'm going to go play action. We're going to go the P PA inside, which is technically switch. We're going zone dime. We'll see if we can put this. Yeah, they're going soft cover too. Perfect throw. Perfect throw. They love going cover two on that play for some reason. Uh, just split the safeties. Hmm. Rankly, he's going to be a future star for us. Him and Davis. Both. So we're starting to run out of some field. So let's keep it short. Man dime. We're blitzing that right nickel. Let's do this. Alright, should be six points. 
Good for Washington. Now he got his touchdown. Good deal. So now it looks like everybody's getting a touchdown. So if you check out... Ah, I missed a thumbnail opportunity there. If you check out... You go to stats. You go to individual. Receiving. We got five different guys with touchdowns through the air. Cool. Good deal. I'll never break my record. For those of you who have not watched my Indiana Dynasty, it was the last season of that dynasty at Wisconsin. That's where I broke the record. At least I assume it's an all-time record. I had nine different guys with a receiving touchdown. Nine. I planned it. I kind of noticed by halftime I had like up to five or six different guys with a touchdown. And second half, I kind of forced it. So if you want to watch, that's when I ran the air raid offense. A little bit different than what I was doing here because I had a couple tight ends and run some different formations and such. Uh, if you want to watch a fun game, go watch that one. That was quite the show. All right, zone blitz. Oh, finally. I'll control the defensive end on this one. Good. Good defense, whoever you are. Third string corner. Well, we'll do quarters and a nickel. Now, I probably need to think about putting in subs. and su I didn't think about that. What I probably will do is let's put our mass subs in. Uh, no. Uh, ah, dang it. Let me do that again. There we go. Second team offense. Let's do that. Our first string offense is done for the day. There's nothing else for them to do. Nothing else to prove. They love that fake toss. Great defense. Good job, corner. Third and ten. We'll go cloud. Great defense. Wow, that's the same corner. That's three plays in a row where he got a swat. Wow, what a play. I don't know if that's his awareness that makes a big difference. That's the same dude. You go back and look here. This guy right here. He just goes over there. Makes a great play. Gets the swat. For Doherty to get the interception. Wow, that's like three swats in a row for that guy. That's awesome to see. I don't know where we're at, but let's just do a run play. Man down. We still got Ferguson out there. I probably should have moved him, but we're using formation subs with him. Great run. Up the gut. I'm going to run dive again. I think I'm going to start running clock. There's no point in us for hurrying this up. I'm going to let Rolovich get a couple of drives, and we'll put in Brennan. After that, I don't mind. I didn't run clock. That's my bad, my bad. Uh, little, we can call something different. He's starting to feel it. I got Washington in here. Let me see. Slant. Oh, let's do a half bag go. This is more air raid than anything else. They're going man dime. What I can do is this will go to Washington. Or probably Kamaka. Hopefully my offensive line can hold up on this one. They're bringing both safeties. It's just all right. We'll take it. They've been super aggressive all day, and we made them pay for it. Great throw by Rolovich. Perfect throw. Washington was underneath it. He was in a good spot for the catch. So like I said, some days the go route or the deep ball stuff will work pretty well for you. And other days, not so much. You know, I mean, I've got plenty of game proof on the channel to show that 
you can't convert all of them, but the day is the deep ball's been working well for us. That's pretty obvious. We'll keep our first string defense out. Uh, no, let's just let's just play it smart. Let's just go here. We'll put in our second string all across the board. Decent kick looks to be returnable. Hawking fields it at the two. Good stop there. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the We can't uh we can't go nickel. That's obvious. We don't have the bodies for it. We can still do 3-4 and 4-3, so that's probably what we'll stick with the rest of the game. Ah, that should have been caught. That was a good throw. Uh, yeah, we got to stay here. Uh, we'll just stay in quarters. This is what we're building towards defensive-wise is the 3-4. Pick up a first down there. Let's do a zone blitz. It was third and one. I thought he got the first. I may just do this. They may go off tackle here. And I was correct. Pick up the first. We'll go back to quarters. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. That way I can control one side and defense can control the other. Open field tackle there. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Uh let's do quarters at a four three. Give the three four a bit of a break. We got the defensive ends or defensive tackles to do this. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Goolsby set to go to the air. Short drop. Complete. Good stop there. That is what, second and? That's end of the third quarter. Let's have a nice, clean fourth quarter and end this thing. Third and five. Make sure we'll do cover three max, which is technically cover six in a sense. Uh, make sure you stay to the end of the video. I think we're going to get a, at least one commitment from one of those guys. I, at least I hope. Man, we need to do something. Ah, uh, good throw. Off the back foot, too. Just couldn't get to him in time. I sent four guys. Just wasn't enough. Let's do a zone blitz from here. It's first and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Rockets line up with three wide. Let's see if I can occupy this defensive end. And they're going to run it anyways. Never mind. Well, he's going to probably score a touchdown. When you got your backups in there, and this stuff is going to happen. We'll go back to a zone blitz. Yeah, let's do this instead. Wide open edges. He had all day to throw. Like, just perfect protection across the board. That guy got wide open. He's the tight end. So, how did he... Oh, he ran a delay route, but he got pushed back. That's why I look... Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. They're going to do an onside kick going forward. Hopefully, we'll get the ball. And I think what I'll do... Let's put in, let's just do Brennan. Rolovich, he has nothing to prove, so let's just put Brennan in and get him some touches. Rolovich got his one touchdown. That's more than fine. And he hits the PAT. So we're just over I'm surprised that Rolovich hasn't transferred. That's one thing you haven't seen in a lot of my dynasties is guys transferring out of my program. It's rare. I've, as many years as I've played this game, I haven't seen it too often, but a lot of times it's just a, it's usually an offensive guy who just doesn't get the ball a ton. He feels like he should. I mean, it, it happens, but not super often. Let's let Cole throw it a, a bit. We'll give him something basic. Brennan with 
four wide receivers. Brennan drops back on first down. Get a little throw there. Get the first down, maybe. Yeah, we got the first. Uh, let's go here. We're going to go clear out all. We're going man. This will go to Cox or the Ferguson. If they go... Unless they go deep. We'll see what happens. I may go best. If they bring both safeties. Give it to him. Easy first down. Good little man beater. Good zone beater too. Kind of thing of plays I don't normally call. Ooh, let's see. Let's go halfback mid attack. They're going man. This would go to G Mullen or or Mock. Just let that clock run. Might as well. So triangle or square. We're going one high. Get some speed to the outside. Pick up a first down there. Colt getting in a rhythm. Let's stay in tight. Again, I want to pick some plays I don't call a ton. Uh, what well, looks interesting. We can try... Halfback divide seam. We're going zone, so what I will do... I'm going to bring this guy over. This is going to go, more than likely, the G Mullen. He still caught it! <laughs> he almost got the touchdown! Woo! Goofy play. None of that made sense. Let's see if we get a good instant replay on this one. Ah, I ain't gonna do it. This is just really weird. I'm just gonna go to my little hitch rat, just get a little zone beater. I probably threw a little too quickly. Great blocking. He almost got the six points. Let's see if we can get him a passing touchdown. Let's do a screen. They're going, they're doing that. I'm going to flip it. Get away from that impact corner or linebacker or whatever he is. And Ferguson may get his third touchdown here. Didn't really plan that. Nope, perfect defense. Guy's sitting on it. Uh, We're on the left hash. I don't know if this will work or not. We're going to go quick slants. We're going zone. If we was going man, we was going to go pop into the swing. But he... I don't think it works as well on this play just because he's three more yards in. But they're going zone here. So I'll go to Ferguson or to Mock. The clock is still going. Ooh, no, nope, we're going to go out here. We will probably just throw that one away. I don't like any of that. So where are we? We can call that same play. It's third and goal from the seven. Uh, let's just go curls. He may have a safer time here. Man, Nick, we may get a touchdown on this one. The clock has stopped. They're doing that, which I'm perfectly fine with. Washington's going to get his second touchdown of the day. Good for Cole. I think that's his first touchdown of the year, if I'm not mistaken. He, I mean, this is only the second game he's got to play. But he did pretty well on that drive. I got him in a rhythm, gave him basic stuff, to, you know, basic threats to throw to. Nothing too crazy. Two minutes to go. I'll try to hurry it up as best I can. We got to run quite a bit of clock for as much as we threw it. I really hope we get invited to the Pac-10 next year. We need to check the Pac-10 standings on that. A lot of that has more to do with the other team you replace more so than you. It helps if they're the other team. It's just awful. That's usually what happens. There's a team that's just like barely wins a game a year, and that conference is ready to get rid of them. So we need that to happen more than anything else. I'll make sure we check that. Probably in the next video. I mean, we can check it after this one. If I don't forget it, oh, we'll go back to 3-4. That's one thing I haven't looked at all year, how the Pac-10's going. Because that's the goal here, 
is to be able to get invited to the Pac-10 and keep this dynasty going for quite a while. Because after a while, if you don't get invited and you're stuck in the in the WAC conference, it gets no fun. That's a catch right there. Yeah. And that's the guy who's been playing with so well for us. Injured his chest. Hoping that's nothing too serious. Go back to quarters. First and ten. Ball on the twenty-seven. Going with the shotgun here. Is this their backup? I think it is. I haven't been paying too much attention. Which quarterback's been playing? Ah, should have been caught. Second and ten. We'll just stay in the same thing. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the twenty-seven yard line. Toledo lines up in a bunch formation. Let's do that. Five-two. Right. Had to make the tackle on that one. Third and three. We'll do a zone blitz. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. I'll control them myself. Oh, they decided to run the ball. And that guy completely whiffed on that one. He should have been tackled in the backfield. Linebacker just sat there. We'll just call the same thing. I'll control the defensive end this time. Perfect. Right, perfect throw. What play was this? So they are ace wide trips. They run switch. That's what that is. But no, they run. Oh, I know what that play is. I forgot what it's called. The Z receiver runs a little hitch. The guy runs a wheel route. That wheel route against cover two zone. That's interesting. He timed that perfectly. Hmm. Stuff for me to think about. All right. Well, let's hopefully get the ball back here, and I'll take a knee going forward. We'll end this thing. And now let's take a look at the drive. So my first string defense gave up 14. My second string gave up 14. Um, defense played well overall today. First quarter got a little iffy. They was kind of moving at will. That's going to get a bounce. That's going to go out of bounds. And that's why you call that play. So that will happen. And I don't think they'll call timeouts on us. Surely not. I, I mean, they're down 35 points. Hopefully. And he's there for the game. It's not a big deal. A whole lot better than Adams. I, ha I really hope we got that bye week. We'll check that as soon as this game is over with. Because we got Florida next. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. If we play offensively, if we play like we've done today, we may have a chance, but Florida's a whole different beast compared to Toledo. Third and 14. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't really do the math on this one. They may call a timeout. I may... We're going to call it... Yeah. They'll, they'll probably call a timeout on this one. So what I'll do, I'm going to call a timeout myself, and we will just run a third down play. You just keep the drive going. I'll give him something basic, just a slot post. Hawaii calls a timeout. I would prefer to run the ball. But we won't be able to run as much clock with that. Let's just do deep attack. So it looks like Colt's going to get the throw one more time. We'll do that. He drops back. Good throw. Good throw. Good for you, Colt. Finish the game off. Good for him. Right where it needed to be. Oh, man. That looked pretty. That was the prettiest throw of the day. All right. Great game. Again, we'll stay to the end of the video. We'll see if we get some commitments. We should. You think after a game like this, we're going to get somebody excited. Let's check out some stats real quick. Then we'll check out the commitments, if any. We'll look at our schedule. All that good stuff. So we finished 
with 636 yards of offense. The run game done, I mean, it actually done pretty well when we ran the ball. But it's the passing game. It was about perfect. It was just, it worked great for us. You know, we've had some games where we were like just awful. <laughs> but today, not so much. 575 yards. We did go have a couple third down situations, but we went 100% on all three of them, which is really cool to see. Turnovers really helped us once the second quarter got going. We was able to pull away. I want to check out some individual stats. Ball, all three of our quarterbacks, which is spot on the day. Even Colt Brandon. Good for him. 7 of 8, 80 yards. One touchdown. I thought, yeah, our starting running back, Kala, 9.3 yards average. Cox had great runs as well. Uh, receiving, Ferguson had a great day. 102 yards, two touchdowns. Rackley, 126 yards and a touchdown. Washington, 55 yards and three touchdowns. That's pretty efficient for the amount of yards he's got. Best has two touchdowns. He had the most yards of the day. Then you got Davis, three receptions, 97 yards and a touchdown. Just a, an amazing day passing the ball. We had like at least eight guys get to catch it. Really cool to see there. Defensively, this guy did it all for us. He had two interceptions and he led in tackles as well. I controlled him most of the time in the game. Just kind of depends on what we were calling. But good to see him do his thing. Doherty had a touchdown or an interception and five tackles. All right, let's get out of here. And we will simulate the rest of the week and fingers crossed we'll see if we get a commitment or two i'd love to get three that would be great speed this up a little bit Let's see what happens I, for some reason i think we got a bye week oh we didn't get it oh we got a bye week so adams is coming back for the florida game unfortunately whatever reason oh florida got beat look what happened Interesting. So, who are my two guys? This guy right here, McDowell, decided to go to Colorado of all places. I spent a ton of time and energy on him. And then our halfback, where's he at? Bracey, Colorado. Look at this. Colorado got both of those guys. Trey McNeil and Mark Bracey. So, you know what that means? That means we're going to play Colorado next season. That's exactly what that means. The good thing is, we are... In good shape for Grievous, and he's the only guy we're going after. So we're going to put all of our points on him. Now, the problem is we got to win. It just helps you if you win to attract these guys to get them to commit. And we got one game left, and that is the Florida game. So it's possible, and what we can do is since I went ahead and put points on Grievous, it's quite possible he may commit during the bye week. So let's see what happens. We're going to simulate this week. That way you guys don't miss it. And we'll see if he commits. Get 100 points on him. Hopefully that'll be enough. But again, it would be great if you played a game in this spot, but we're not going to. We got Florida. And thankfully, Adams will be ready for And there you go. He committed. Good deal. I'm glad you got to see all that to the three people who are still watching. Uh, Kevin Grievous, great. I've been going after this guy. He's the one I've wanted more than any of them. So if you go back to recruiting, we are done. And we got three linemen, two on the defensive side and one offensive tackle, which I'm more than happy with. But we need some bodies at halfback. We're hurting there. You know, I've been trying to recruit that position, and we just didn't luck out on any of that. But that's what the offseason is for. So you go back, we got Florida coming up, and Florida got beat. In their last game. So they're 9-2. It doesn't matter. They're loaded. They got the top offense in the country, at least by points. Passing, yeah. Chris Leak and that Duff wide receiver, he's really good. It's going to be very interesting. If we play well offensively, we may have a chance. I can't wait. I'm sure you can't either. Should be a whole lot of fun. All right, guys. Come on back. We'll take on the Gators, and I'll talk to you later.